Hey, welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with another episode on Kabbalas, and um, so I managed to uh, find enough beehives up in the redwoods to make a beehive. So I finally got giant bee honey, which I can use for kibble and whatnot. And I went ahead and made the compost bin uh, from LW's farming, and this is how you get worms. Uh, you take anything perishable, which. Uh, how about, you know, a beet seed will work. And then just drop it in there and boom, it makes a fertilizer and it makes a worm. I'm thinking there might need to be a little bit of balancing done there. <laughs> By the way, worms count as regular fertilizer as well. Well, they can be used as fertilizer. 50,000 nitrogen per, so they're on par with, uh, actually, I think they're better than snow owl pellets, aren't they? Uh, snow owl pellets are... No, 50,000, so they're the same. And then 54,000 for fertilizer. Yeah. And I went ahead and tamed up a couple more dung beetles, too, and it wasn't quite enough, so I was like, okay, let's look at this, and then this thing is just completely busted. <laughs> so. And, uh, went ahead and made another little building back here. This is, like, my pantry because everything was filling up with crops. So I've got crops separated out into different types now. And yeah, <laughs> there's 12 of those ice boxes in there. And I hope it'll last a while. But we come over here and apparently we're still just getting lobster and shrimp, even with the worms now. Okay. I was curious to see, you know, if I would get actually like raw fish meat or anything out of there. So doesn't particularly look like it. So let me can I yeah, I can put these under the overhang. Cool. Drank some herb bundles there, because I hung them on the wall over the top of my stove and they poke through, unfortunately. So they can go on the wall, but I think they're meant to more go on the ceiling. Oh, that's kind of cool. There's variants. Yep. Oh, yep. But let's go ahead and pick these guys up. Actually, that would be a good spot. I, that is still bugging me right there. But oh. not much I can really do about. It. It. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. Definitely need to somehow still make it a little bit brighter in here, but oh well. That is something for the future. Oh, God, it's going to be one of these days. Okay. <laughs> nice and dark. Kind of stormy. All right, let's go ahead and... Oh, yep. So, I did manage to get... Uh, where did I put them, anyway? I think in the other one. Uh, you're okay, low level. I managed to tame up a few more, uh, a few more friends. Uh, besides the dung beetles, anyway. I probably should put them in here, then. And we've got three new horses. And a couple of... Alright, get over there. And then a couple of dire bears. Now, dire bears are cave dire bears. So... I'm not going to be using them for anything other than the fact that I really like... I just... I don't really like riding on the Dire Bears. I just like the Dire Bears. So... Especially when you level them up. They're kind of cute. But we have a 705 male and an 810... Well, 811 now. Uh, female. So, yeah. Uh, 
Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these guys yet. I might use them just as, like, base security, honestly. Just have them kind of wandering around. And, uh... That way we can just, you know, be safe. Just in case something does come in. Because I'm only making the wall one... Or my fencing one wall high. But, uh... Let's see... 76 points into health, wow. 75 points into melee, or no, not melee, uh, into weight. Wow, uh, and 77, so yeah, this guy was the best at all of them. He's a 290, though. 260, and a 260. So yeah, two, 260 females, and a, uh, a 290 male. Uh, let's see. You were my, well, one of my high levels, so let me... Go ahead and pick you up so I can look at stats. And you were the other high level, right? Yeah. High ish level. And then we have my three shimmers. Hey, it's finally getting bright. Okay, cool. And this one looks like it's been wading through mud. I think that's just the shadow from this one, though. It's just like filthy from the hips down. Alright. So what do we got going on here? Okay. Uh. 70 health. 81 health. Oh, that's my 468, the one I've been riding around on the most. So, yeah, and then weight on you is 77. 75, wow. Yeah, it doesn't matter which male I uh, pair her with. Oh, this one is probably best. The two I had had the best stats already. Okay, cool. So, we're going to uh, have a... Okay, just make sure it's the right one. I'm gonna get some babies. And your pattern changed again. The, the patterns change when you toss them out, by the way. It's, uh... Slightly annoying. Like, she's now a dapple. So... I think, is that the term? I don't know. Polka dot doesn't sound right. But I would like a, uh... An imprinted horse with good stats, and... Be handy to, to have riding around on whatnot. I'm surprised these guys haven't glitched out through the wall yet. Although you wanna come here? There we go. Now put a water drop in here, because, well, you know, it seems like they might need one. Alright, so... How are things going for you? Okay, about halfway there. Cool. Let's just go put everybody else away for now. Eventually I want to have animals just, like, wandering around, but, uh... Probably not a particularly great idea right now. I don't know about that. A little bit better. Small bundle red? Nah, I like the large bundle better. Let's just go ahead and pick these up, though. Maybe I'll find a place to put them. Maybe not. I don't know. And I thought at one point there was like a uh, a hanging side of meat or something like that that I could make. Oh yeah, hanging pig. Here we go. Butchered pig, roasted boar, potato. Okay. These are different food items you can like put put around and whatnot. Oh, hanging garlic. Hey, okay. Check that out. Fruit basket or whatnot. Got a fish. We've got hanging fish. Okay. Cucumber you can just put down somewhere and freak out a cat, I guess. Oh, yeah. I like that idea, of putting stuff up there. And then our fruit basket can probably go on a table, actually. We'll make the pretense of eating healthy around here. You've seen some of the meals I make, and you know better, but... And this is full of all the prepared foods I've made so far. Ugh, quite a bit. 
All right, what else we have in here for decor? Uh, let's see, under food, we've got... Garlic, tomato, smoked meat. Hanging sausage, okay. Yeah. And sausage. Uh, how about we go ahead and get the roasted four as well? How about a hanging pig? Pepper, hanging parsley. Okay. Hanging onion. Mushrooms, onion, green onion, banana. Look for scale. Uh, we get the hanging fish. Sure, why not? Basket of corn. Chili pepper, hanging pepper. Wheel of cheese, carrot, cabbage, bread, a beet, which just seems very red, or very white, not red. Half an apple, slice of an apple, whole apple. Okay. So let's. I don't know. I, I just like decorating sometimes, so. There we go. That's way too high for something that small. It really is. Uh, let's see. Hanging parsley. Um. I don't know where that place, but it's not there. I had like a little finger twitch right as I was placing it. it my camera moved and I have no idea where it ended up at now. So I've got a, uh, I've got a hanging parsley somewhere around here now. Uh, all right, it'll hopefully turn up later. And we've got like, hanging fish. Uh, it's yeah, one of those too small for up there. How about the like a smoked pork? Well, basically it's a ham hock, right? There's also roasted paella. How about we get a, a roasted pig out here too? And it's an actual pig. Cool. It's I half figured it to be a day on. Oh yeah, we got the hanging onions too. Go ahead and get our onions up next to the garlic, I guess. Those are some big garlic. That's like elephant garlic right there. Alright. At first I thought the shadow was that missing parsley. I have no idea where that thing went though. Like inside of a wall or something. Or it's just invisible once you place it. Oh, that's an option too. Oh wow, you're pretty mostly just dated. Cool. Did I get you emptied out yet? Eh, mostly. I left the seeds in there. Okay. Um, 60k health, why not? I just wish I could get rid of this stuff here. But can't have everything. Yeah, that's where I've been putting all my seeds at. And let's go ahead and... We'll hang the fish. Oop, there. That works. All right. Now, is there anything special with you that I can't make anywhere else? I don't think so. I think this and the big brick oven inside share the same recipes. So. Mm, you. There we go. That way, when you pop, I don't have to worry about, you know, catching the baby right away. All right, so... 
Not sure what to work on next, actually. All right. Okay, lag spike. There we go. Uh, the first horse that popped out. Uh, turned out to have most of the good stats, actually. I think it was like three points low on stamina and like eight points low on food. I was like, yeah, no, we're good. So, managed to get a full imprint on the horse. And you cannot jump over a wall. Yeah. I didn't think you could, but eh, I figured it was worth a try. Uh, but I extended my wall out even more now. And got it up to here on this side and over to here on this side. So we're almost enclosed. And then I have to start thinking about how am I going to get in and out of this place. Uh, something else I did is get stuck. There we go. I finally got glass windows in. Finally, you know, I remember, I'm like, oh yeah, I was supposed to do that. So we've got uh, their villager tier windows, so they're actually, you know, actual glass. And it says villager tier, but if you go to variants, the settler. Because these guys are smaller. The windows are smaller. Well, that's kind of not bad. Uh, in here, then... Uh, in the actual villager stuff. And the variants are all kind of just like little, even half versions of this. But the downside of that is I painted these walls so they're less weathered looking. So when we do the variant, it doesn't match now. Oh, well, that's fine anyway. I wanted to keep the light coming in as it was, so that works out good. I'm probably going to get, you know, to playing around with paint again here in the future, but for right now, I have spent a little too much time here on this, so go check out the, uh, oh, Wyvern Trench. I don't know why it kind of lags out sometimes when I open my inventory. Really odd. So I was flying over, and I completely forgot about this. Um, there's just like this really kind of... Well, it's like an artificial pond up here. But I kind of really cool, like, ruined castle. And... I don't know if there's anything overly special about this or not. But that's just kind of sinister looking now, isn't it? That and the horses are made out of obsidian, but I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Oh, there's actually a Sarko that spawns up there. Wow. Good luck getting out, dude. And then that's Red Arbor, Red Arbor right there. Or, well, the Red Terminal, anyway. And, wow, there we go. Yeah, welcome to the volcanic area. What do we got there? We got a Rajasaur. Yeah. Argies and a Torvo are fighting. Alright. Nothing I want to really mess with right now. Yeah, that just looks like a blasted crater, doesn't it? Well, hello, Fire Wyvern. Kind of a cool little bridge thing there, isn't it? I wonder if there's anything down this way. Oh, there's a tech raptor. And again, with the, 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 the you know the triangle shape, I've noticed that a few times around the map. Yeah, red ob. Okay. Well, the red terminal, anyway. And looks like a pretty standard 
Yeah. No. Is that a vulture? Might have been. Like something small was just like flying right over the top of me there. And there's a horse. All right. So let's go ahead and head back through this way. Now, you can get here by land up to this point. Looks like that's kind of it, though. Oh, hi. I care less. Okay, is that a cave back there? That explains a lot about the raminess and whatnot. Kind of interesting in here, isn't it? Oh, wow. Look at that. It's a definite wyvern statue. Is that an ice wyvern head? Kind of looks like it. Oh, hey. Cool. No scuba tank. And right helmet. Alright, so here's a question. Are these harvestable? Nope. Okay. Alright. So... That might be just it for back here. It's just a place to get resources and a uh, red drop. A lot of wyverns. That is a lot of wyverns. Oh, there's a poison up there. Yeah, I've seen all three varieties so far. Oh, look at that. 120. Okay. Uh, let's see. What is it? Like eight intervals above or something? Something like that for wyverns. On ten poison, okay. I'll drop into the lava. I don't think I'd appreciate that a whole lot. There's an egg up here. Three ten fire, okay. That is an event colored poison in that. I'm like, what is the tropical doing here? And nope. Well, there's one ten stuck in the rock there. Oh, hi, buddy. This is the backside of the Magnosaur Trench, or cave, I guess, would be a better term. Never really been that fond of Magnosaurs. I mean, they're okay, I guess. But, uh, they're really not all that spectacular. Well, hello, Archie. Is that really all the eggs that were in this trench? Oh yeah, that's that kind of disturbing place up there. Like the, the Inquisition dungeon. Alright, so... I'll fly into that. 
Uh, I guess we should go get that 310 fire then. And get the hell out. Remember correctly, there's like a Coliseum up here too. Um, where would it be? There it is. I'm gonna swipe an egg. I want pretty close to full stam first, so this might not be a bad place to take a break and kind of look around a little bit. Oh, there's a Pusotal Zookas in here. Okay, we're going to land up here then. Uh, 120, but yeah. That would be kind of sort of painful. I don't see anything in there. Okay, a drop can spawn here, looks like. Just isn't one right now. Oh, that's kind of a pretty thorny dragon. All right. Denonicus? Okay, yeah. Another Pasola. Only level 50. Yeah, no. Okay, hello, little, little lightning. That's 180. Okay, I didn't see that one earlier. So maybe more respond in since. Oh, God. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, he's still after me. Be nice if I could actually shoot off the back of this thing. Well, I think I left Render over there, so... Yeah, the Lightning Wyvern wasn't too happy about me being in the area, I think. One ninety poison, okay. One hundred fire. I'm gonna have to come through, I think, and start getting rid of stuff. Oh, no, there's two. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. There's three. Uh, all right. Yeah, let's uh, probably not hang out here. My stamina is already getting a little on the low side. Uh, it looks like there's a, a poison back there with him now, too. Oh yeah, no, they're still, uh, they're out for blood. Man, they are still after me. Uh, ah, Wyvern statues, that's kind of ominous now, isn't it? Line on a map, you know, here there be dragons. Good lord, guys, stop.
Okay, they they unloaded. What's up with this? Just like gravel, I guess. Uh, I didn't take a whole lot of damage. Not huge amounts anyway. But uh, yeah, it took enough. All right. Where did they end up at now? Oh, there's the Alamodactylus down there. Cool. They're excellent if you want to be building structures out of clay. You know, Adobe, whatnot. Where did they go? Like they just despawned or something. I dragged them too far away from the trench. I guess uh, those wyverns take care of then. Uh, what are you? Level 40? Okay. Uh, too concerned about that one. No, you stop that. <laughs> it's like food. Ugh. That would have sucked if I would fallen off my wyvern when that happened. Alright. Oh, there you are. Another level 40, huh? Stop. No, that one's falling in the lava. You don't get to go get that one. They coast so far after they die. Oh, hello. 170, okay. But, uh, yeah, that, that could have ended badly. So you were 100. Didn't I see another one over here, too? Is that it? There's 190 lightning. There it is. There's the other one. Uh, 100. 100. 100. Anything on this side? Probably not. I'm not really seeing any, like, alcoves or anything for... For eggs to spawn into. Three twenty poison. Okay, you know what? One twenty fire. One eighty fire. One ten poison. Okay. Just grab this three twenty poison. I like poison wyverns for dealing with ground targets. They're very good at it. Oh, hi. Is that mom? That's... Well, it's dead. Okay.
Okay, we've got a few. Like three poison wyverns after me now. They're not bad unless they get a direct hit in. Let's see if I can find like something to fob these guys off on though. Oh well, look at that. There is a uh Alf Carno. And some Denonicus. Yeah, they're still coming. Okay. Oop. And loading. There's a massive cave underneath this mountain, by the way. There we go. Don't mind me, I'm just hiding with a camera source. And away. Oh, there's an alpha raptor over there too. I think it worked. Well, they're not after me anymore. So... Oh, uh, no, wait, wait, okay. That one got distracted too, okay. Okay. That was a nasty surprise. You're actually a lightning. Okay. Nope, still after me, huh? Ow. Hit it, Bronto. Ow. Ah, still after me. Dang it. Okay, now it's not. Alright. Where'd that Alpha Raptor go now? There it is. It's still after me, too. My shoulder pad's trying to help here. Down to what, like 3k? 2k. Cool. Oh, I'm out of stamina completely. First thought was how much stuff did uh, that Alpha Raptor give me, but you know that I couldn't fly afterwards. But yeah, it was. Oh, I'm sorry, camera source. Yeah, that 320 is just destroying everything around here. Well, that worked out somewhat. All right, well, a little bit of time has passed, and I did go back over to the Wyvern Trench. And apparently, whenever I lured that 320 out, a couple more Poison Wyverns spawned in. Uh, because we have a 330 as well, and a 380 on top of the 320. And I grabbed that 310 fire. So... 
Awesome. All right, let's just go ahead and. Yep. So what do we got? We've got. Uh, not great weight. Oh, tons of oxygen. Okay. Uh, 320 poison. 380 poison. So I got three female poisons and a, a male fire. Okay, go figure. Uh, it's pretty average stats, I think, for 380, but it's just pretty nice, too. So they're all just high. Uh, this one's got 67 melee. Which is higher than this one. This one's 50 levels lower, though. That is insane difference there. Um, and this one's just not even... Yeah, this one's also pretty average in stats, really. Low in food and weight. High, super high in oxygen. And... Alright, so... And then this guy's pretty bad in weight, but... My fire. It's the only fire wyvern I've got now. So let's get these four raised up. And can I take a look at colors here? Okay, pretty typical. Alright. And alright, you actually look more like a fire, actually. With green. But yeah, these are pretty typical uh, poisons. So I didn't get any event colored ones. Okay. I'm okay with that, really. But, uh... All in all, not bad. Uh, you're going to want imprint in seven and a half minutes. With my maturation speed, which is quite a bit higher than on the uh, AC2 server. Thank God. Uh, over there, it takes an hour and 20 minutes to raise a wyvern from an egg. It's just like, oh, good lord. Like, I do have a life, you know. <laughs> I do have to do other things besides play Ark. But, uh, I think, actually, I might go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, successfully raised some eggs. I'll go ahead and get these, you know, four raised up. And that'll make seven wyverns. I need to have... I need a spot to put my wyverns, because they're, they're big creatures, and they take up a lot of room. Hi. Good lord. Uh, <laughs> the head was, like, right there. Uh, did get ourselves a pretty good horse, too, actually. Uh, Skippy's going to need some levels, but we can, we can work with that. One of the easier ways is just to... Get a bunch of this stuff harvested up, and... That'll help anyway. Some of these just give an insane amounts of experience whenever you run through them. I don't think it's any of these, though. But, I mean, we've already halfway to the next level already, so. But there's some that whenever you hit them, you just kind of lag the game out. Because of how many items just, you know, transferred? A few hits of that, and we'll, uh, Definitely have some experience. This is only times two gather, so these plots would be insane to hit with like a Bronto or whatever. Even on, you know, official rates. Oh, saddlebag. Yeah, I forgot there was one like right next to my base. Hello, level 40. Yeah. But I'm going to focus on uh, leveling up, you know, Skippy here. And I think Skippy actually might be, at least for now, my primary mode of transportation around the map. The map seems to behave a little bit better when I'm not flying everywhere. It actually gives the time to load everything in. Because this is a bit of a busy map, too. There's a, there's a lot of things going on. Uh, but I want to get Skippy up to a pretty good amount of health. Weight's already awesome. Already over a thousand for weight. Uh, probably get a little bit of movement speed in, just so I can get away from things a little bit better. But first is definitely going to be health, right? And, yeah. 
Now, if I can somehow find, like, an Alpha Raptor, and, you know, weaken it quite a bit with weapons from a distance, and then then go in on Skippy and take it out, that'll make this job a lot easier. And, uh, Friendly Fire is on, so I can't baby blend. Also, it's a uh, PvE mode, so can't even attack unclaimed babies. Hi. Nope. And I turned off the gain XP from Dino Storage option. Which, that'll translate into... Uh, there's really not going to be any way, easy way to, to gain tons of levels on a creature. Besides, you know, like, fighting an alpha. So... But, I mean, that's, you know, not horrible, and it's probably a little bit nicer than to be farming up babies for experience, really. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, next time, actually, I think I might head out on Champy, and we'll see if we can find that underwater aberration area. And uh, down there, there are Carcanos and Gotchas. As well as a few other aberrant things, including uh, more Shimmer Horses. Actually, that was the first place I saw those guys. Uh, let's see. Oh. Yeah, you got a level, yeah. Like, hmm, I haven't even hit the rare flower ones yet. So. Uh, we'll keep Stimberries too, I think. Yeah, if you can hit the... The ones that give rare flowers, then yeah, you just stock up on XP so quick. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And until next, sign signing out. Have fun.